most of you will probably want to use Pixel Ruler simply as an image straightener. And I'm going to use that as an example. It's a generator. You can just drag it out here anywhere. And the components of it are this area here, which is resizable. If you grab the middle controls, you can widen it and stretch it. And if you grab the corner controls, you can rotate and size at the same time. And you can just move the position by grabbing anywhere inside this area here. The on-screen controls for the center is actually movable. And you can drag these out and this value will always be the distance between the two midpoints of these controls. Uh, to reset either one of these controls to the center of this, just select one or the other in the inspector, type 0.5, and it will reset to the exact center. Okay, the, the center of this region is the starting point for the ruler. Now I'm just going to line this up on one edge out here. You'll notice there are four little hash marks around the center and it helps out if you align that outside hash mark with the horizon line you're tracking. It also helps out to give yourself as much distance as you can. So I'm going to stretch this out here. Uh, this will give me more fine-tuned control for adjusting the position angle of this point. And I'll just move this up about there. Actually, I'm going to zoom in on this to 100%. So I get a better look at it. Okay. So now all I have to do is drop down, select the clip, go into the transform rotation, and use the opposite angle of this. So I'll just type in minus 0.79. And then we'll go ahead and zoom back out and take a look at our horizon line before after uh, now when you rotate your image you're going to end up with these little black corners so you're going to have to scale a little bit so I needed to do a hundred and two percent scale you can show and hide the dashboard here It's uh, show info. Uh, you have the option of showing decimals. Distance has accuracy to tenths, uh, angles to hundredths, and motion doesn't round, so it's most of the time decimals will help you round up or down as needed. If you have an angle that goes below the horizon on one side and you end up with a value like this you can just turn this to show negative angle and that will make it a lot easier if you need to tilt upwards from the right. You can fine-tune the position if you need to find a target say right here if you zoom in and you click on that circle it opens up so that you can see a smaller crosshair underneath to line things up more accurately and then just uh, move back out I hope you find it useful and I'll catch you on the next one